In this video, we'll take a look at referencing in the architectural model for this particular floor and importing the architectural spaces so they are definitions in the electrical database. Then we can utilize those for various placement tools. So the first step I'm going to do is create a new file. So in the file tab, I'll go to new and we'll call this one e power one and hit save and then the file i'm in which was the e discipline master file created in a previous video will close and the e power one file will open i'll go ahead and attach the reference file so i'll come up to my common tools go to references select attach reference in this example data set that I'm working in, there's a supplement folder and a designs folder. So I'll choose this AA Floor Office 1 and click open. I'll give it a logical name here. Turn on my live nesting and I'll set it to a depth of 5 here in the attachment settings. And then I will turn on ignore attachment when live nesting and click OK. And then we see the reference show up in our views out here. I'll do a fit on my views, double click on my wheel on my mouse, and I'll come up here and say save settings. Now, since this is a new file, we saw in the previous videos where we register our files with the electrical database so whenever you create a new file, you always want to register the file. So I'll choose register file. I get the alert that the file has been registered. I'll say OK. We come to the drawing setup dialog box. And this was gone over in the previous video. So I'll quickly adjust my settings here. So standard text size, I'm setting to one. The subtype text size, which honors the annotation scale. I'll set to eighth inch. Rotate symbols at insertion. Cycle symbol dialog is turned on. Building structure was set up in the previous video. So I'll choose Office Floor 1 to associate this file with the Office Floor 1. And then for the 3D options, this is the second floor of the building or the first floor with the ground floor. So the ground floor is the lobby. The first floor is this office space. So I'll set the floor level to 15 feet in my imperial units here. 2D, 3D option is selected. And I'll go ahead and turn on collision detection, clearance 1 and clearance 2, and then say OK. So once I register the file, I see that it's my electrical tools have loaded here. To import the architectural spaces, First, I'm going to turn off this ceiling grid just to make it easier to see in the video. So hovering over it with element selection, doing a right press on my mouse. And I can say level off there. Choosing my view. I'll do the same thing over here in this view. Again, just to make it easier to see here. And we see the architectural spaces from that reference file. If I zoom in here, you can see this is Office 4 room name and it's room number 104 for example to import the architectural spaces into the dgn file i can use my element selection tool and simply select everything in that reference and it doesn't matter that i've selected the doors and the walls because the import tool that i'll use only recognizes the spaces so i'll come to my view 2 which is in a top orientation with my element selection tool and I'll just drag from left to right and select basically everything in that reference model. And then up here in the space management group of tools, notice this set of tools right here where we can say import spaces. So I'll choose import spaces and 
when I do that, we see that in our views now, we see a, an electrical label. I'm going to maximize view two, which is, by the way, in a wireframe display style. I'm going to turn off that view attributes grid just to make it easier to see here. So in my view attributes, turning off the grid. And I can see I get these electrical labels and these green outlines of the perimeter of those spaces. So I can see that all those spaces were imported in. Now that operation right there just imported them into my DGN file. To save those spaces into the electrical database, again, I'll use my element selection tool and just drag from left to right and select everything in this top orientation. And again, it doesn't matter that I've selected everything. The, the next tool will just work on the spaces. So if we come back up to our set of tools up here, notice there's this one called Save in Imported Space or Zone Data. So we import it into the DGN file, then we save it. I get this alert about Erase the Room Shapes after saving the database. I'll say yes, and then it'll prompt me for where to save this room polygons in our building structure. And we'll select Office Floor 1, Notice that we only see Office Floor 1 because in the drawing setup, we chose Office Floor 1 to be associated with this ePower 1 file. And we'll click OK right here. Then I notice those green outlines and the labels from the electrical import process have been deleted out of this DGN file. And if we come back up to Space Management and go to Building Properties, I see how those spaces have been imported in and now are available to me in this building manager. So a quick way to get our spaces set up with our electrical database. The next video will show how we can utilize these to navigate around in the model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.